reporting for Katie Chats here at the Blue Flame Collective's Global Village event in downtown Toronto with filmmaker Ian Stoddard. Tell me how you found out about the Global Village. Um, actually, a few. I'm good friends with Oliver Ward, and uh, he started the Blue Flame with Everett. And uh, so, yeah, I've just been in touch with them uh, for the past year and a half. Uh, I wrote a script for their writing women, and uh, I produced and filmed that script. So uh, they asked me to enter it again. So here we are. Yeah. And what was the inspiration behind this sushi esque uh, film? <laughs> um, well, to wrap it up quickly, uh, yeah, it was just. I thought I wanted to write a gangster film and thought it'd be interesting to base it around sushi, so see, see how it goes. Great. And how did you go about casting the project? Uh, casting the project, um, I had uh, Harmon Walsh, he contacted me, he wanted to be in it. So um, I sat down with him, he looked like a perfect leading man, so I was like, You're, you got the part. And then Ron Leach, who directed the film, uh, he found uh, Philip Jarrett and uh, it just fell into place. And what is the importance of Canadian film to you? I think it's important because uh, creating an identity for us Canadian filmmakers without uh, falling into the stereotype of what it is to be Canadian. So, uh, yeah, so I think it's really important that we set our own identity with our generation. And where's the best place to find out more information on you and your work online? Yeah, um, I run my own production company. It's Eat the Pie Productions. Okay. Uh, you can check it out at www.eatthepieproductions.com. Thank you so much, Ian. Congratulations and have a terrific time today. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm Katie Ullman reporting for Katie Chats here at the Blue Flame Collective's Global Village event at the Big Picture Cinema in downtown Toronto.